up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and today we are here to talk about some kind of bummer news, but I, I honestly was kind of expecting this, to be honest with you. Uh, Sony has decided to delay the release of Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, and uh, and I, I can't remember exactly the reason why. I think it was coming out the same weekend as um, Jackass. Like, I guess they're doing a new Jackass movie, and then they decided to push it back. And now I think, and this makes a lot more sense to me, I think the reason they push this back is just for more time with post-production. Um, I think they just don't want people working too, too hard. Um, and then also they don't want to pump something out too soon, close to another pro uh, product of theirs, which is Venom. Uh, Venom obviously got moved back to September as well. And uh, whereas Res Evil was going to come out on September 3rd, Venom was the 17th. And then it got pushed back an extra week to uh, September 24th <laughs> or something like somewhere around there, September something, something near the end of September. Um, and so now it looks like we have a delay with Resident Evil. So Sony has decided to push the movie back to Thanksgiving Day weekend, uh, which is November 24th, that weekend uh, of this year, 2021. So it's only getting pushed back a couple months, which is fine. I think, again, that's just for more time to fine tune it, uh, get some, you know, get the post-production done, make sure they have it finished, um, and then also release it at a time where it might not collide or, or share an audience with another one of their big hits. Um, you know, they want these movies to breathe the best they can. There's already going to be enough competition out there when you release Resident Evil, for example, it's going to probably target a lot of males between the ages of like, you know, well, I guess it's rated R. So their goal would be 18 to like, you know, 28 or something like that. And a lot of that audience is also going to be their main target for Venom. Uh, Venom will probably be like 13 to 28 or 14 to 28. But still, it's it, they kind of share a lot of the same audience. And so they'll want people seeing Venom and getting pumped for Venom. And then they'll want, you know, people then after that, that same audience to build up uh, excitement for Resident Evil. And of course, I'm not saying that women or, you know, people uh, outside of that demographic aren't going to go see these movies, but that's kind of their main target that they kind of, you know, because I guess based off ticket sales from previous movies, that's kind of the, the majority of that they get. And so they're like, okay, that's who we're probably going to appeal to this time. But obviously the movies will try to do things that will appeal to other people so that way the audience grows from movie to movie. Um, but that's just kind of their initial plan, I think, and, and kind of their initial aim uh, for a demographic. So anyway, I just, you know, it's kind of a bummer. We have to wait a little bit longer. But at this point, I mean, if you watch my main show on my main channel, Venom Vlog, we're used to delays. <laughs> that's for sure, especially from Sony, because my other channel is mainly Sony with Venom Vlog. Um, but uh, but yeah, but now I'm doing a Warner Brothers show over there with Black Adam on my main channel, and that's with Warner Brothers, and they they haven't been delaying too too much. They're releasing things day and day digital, uh, so that's been pretty great. So uh, we'll, we follow Black Adam now on my main channel, uh, along with Venom Vlog. And, uh, and then now we have this here on this channel, and we got a little delay, but that's okay because it'll give us more time to do other things, cover more news, trailers will probably be coming out this summer, I'm guessing, and uh, and it'll give them more time to breathe and, and focus on the release and focus on post-production right now um, and just give this movie... Uh, you know, hopefully the best chance it can to succeed. And I think Thanksgiving weekend is a pretty good weekend uh, to release a movie. I don't know about releasing an R-rated, you know, zombie monster movie, uh, but we'll see. I mean, what crazier things have happened. And it is a family, right? Res Evil is a family. So if they market it like, you know, come to the Spencer Mansion, you know, uh, spend your Thanksgiving in Raccoon City, like you could actually have some fun with the marketing there. And I think that would be kind of neat to see like where they're, you know, making Thanksgiving posters, you know, and it's like a, a, a rotted out turkey with a knife in it. Uh, and, and there's like an herb in the background or something and you just have like these little images that they put out there on social media. Like you could have a lot of fun with the marketing uh, for Thanksgiving for a horror movie. <laughs> And I, I kind of hope they embrace that. So let me know what you think of this news. You know, are you bummed out? You know, I'm sure you are, but, you know, fear not. It's only a couple months. And like I said, it'll give everyone time to work at a good pace and breathe and make sure that this is the, you know, the best thing they can make. And hopefully it'll give it a better chance to succeed in the theater when it comes out on Thanksgiving weekend. And it does have some other competition, but nothing really in that demographic as of right now. So hopefully everything stays on its release schedule and other movies don't get pushed to this date because then it'll probably cause Sony to push it to, you know, another date again, because that's how Sony's been operating during this whole pandemic is every time someone 
someone takes one of their uh, slots for a movie, they push their movie back. They get kind of scared and, and, and turn and run. And I get it. It's a business. You don't want, you know, competition. But at the same time, I, at, at some point, you got to put your feet down and go, hey, we were here first. And if you want to compete against us, good luck, you know, and I'd like to see a little bit more backbone from Sony at times when it comes to stuff like that. So hopefully this sticks to its release date now, November 24th. I'm excited. What about you? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in Raccoon City. Peace.